My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today I want to share some eye looks with you I want to show you three different eye looks using the three new obsessions palettes these are the brown obsessions brand new from Huda Beauty I already released a whole review video where I swatched these gave you close-ups gave you my review I also did a few comparisons in that video so if you want more info about these palettes I will link that video in the description box or you can just use the search bar on my channel and it will pull up my whole review, swatches, all that fun stuff. Before we jump into the eye looks, I just want to tell you a couple of quick things. First and most importantly, I am not a trained makeup artist. My tutorials are never going to be breaking new ground in the beauty world. My tutorials and my eye looks are just me playing with makeup. It's makeup just for fun. We're just having fun, trying out new products. A big part of the reason why I like to do tutorials is to really show you products in action. I feel like that's an important part that works in tandem with swatching and reviewing. It's just one more piece of info that can help you decide if a product's going to work for you or not. My eye looks are pretty simple, pretty user friendly. There's not a lot of crazy tricks and techniques. I also don't use liquid eyeliner. I don't wear false lashes. I know don't tell the beauty guru committee because they'll kick me off of YouTube, but those just personally aren't products that I prefer. I love the way they look on other people. It's just not something that I prefer for myself. But the good news is if you follow along or take any inspiration from any of my looks in my videos, you can always add your own twist, add your own liner or lashes or whatever makes you feel happy, whatever makes you feel good and fantastic and whatever is fun for you. Even if you don't have these palettes, even if you don't plan on picking them up, you may have similar colors elsewhere in your collection, especially if you are a big makeup lover. You probably have shades like these so you can always pull from your existing collection to follow along or take inspiration from these looks. So now that you've heard me babble on for a while, let's get into the eye looks now. We're going to start off with the Toffee Brown palette first. I always prep my eyes the same way using my favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This just gives me a really clean canvas eyelid to work on. I'm starting off by mixing these two matte shades, the more orangey golden and then the mustard matte yellow in the center and I'm really packing that on in the crease area. These mattes are super pigmented so it doesn't really take a lot of work to build them up. Then I'm using the bright yellow gold in the bottom row of the palette and covering my entire lid with that shade just using my fingertip to apply. Now I'm going to do a technique that's a little bit different for me. Actually, this whole video is going to be kind of going out of the comfort zone. Now I'm taking the dark brown matte shade and something I often do is just sort of smudge it along the lash line like you see here. But in today's video, I'm going to try my best to make it sort of like a smudgy cat eye type of eyeliner look. So I'm really, really building that up into that sort of flicked triangle cat eye shape using a pencil brush on my lid. Then I'm going to go in with this really light champagne-y type of shade, put a little bit of that on the inner corner, not too much. I don't want it to be too, too bright. I just want a little bit of a highlight there in the inner corner. Just keep it simple because I want this faux wing to be the focus. I curled my lashes, added some of my Huda Legit Lashes Mascara, and that's the finished look. It's super simple to achieve, and it's definitely really wearable. It's unconventional for me because I don't typically do any sort of cat eye, but because I used a shadow, it made it super easy. If I mess anything up, it's easy to correct, so this is fun. Definitely a look I'm going to keep doing. Now we're moving on to the caramel brown palette. 
I really want to use this bright corally pop of color in this palette and I want to heavily feature that but I don't just want to do an all over coral lid. So I'm going to start with this sort of mustardy brown matte shade and really quickly just sweep that all over the lid as the sort of base color for this look. Then I'm going to start bringing a little bit more depth and a little bit more warmth to the crease area. So I'm using a smaller fluffy brush and I'm building up just a little bit more of this deeper matte shade in the crease and then going even deeper on the very, very outer part of the eye. This is going to give a little bit of a contour to the eye, but I'm not doing a really really deep dark look I'm just taking a tiny bit of this and really blending it on the outer corner and a little bit onto the lower lash line as well now it's time for that coral pop of color I'm putting this on the very inner corner of my eye I'm just using a small flat detail brush and I'm really packing that color on I want it to be an impactful pop of color which it definitely is then i'm just adding a teeny tiny bit of shimmer just more of a topper to make this look a little bit more dynamic because it is very very matte right now lastly i felt like i needed to do something to balance the look a little bit because it was very focused on the inner part of the eye so i took just a tiny bit of this deepest shade in the palette I applied just a little bit of that deep shadow right along the upper lash line and only on the outer part of my eye. It's very subtle, but I think it helps balance out this look a little bit. Again, a super simple look that is still outside of the norm, outside of the comfort zone for me, but this is really fun. I feel super powerful wearing this look and I love it way more than I thought I would. Last look we're going to see is the one that I was wearing in the talking portions of this video. So you know we're starting the same way. Prep the eye with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Now I am going to go in with a combo of these two matte shades first. And this is just sort of laying the groundwork so that the deeper shades will be easier to blend out as we go along. So you don't have to be too precise with this step, just really throwing it in the crease and along the lower lash line. Then I'm going straight in with this deep chocolatey matte brown. And I'm not really being too shy with this shade. I'm really starting to pack it on the outer corner blending it in towards the center and also blending it upwards into the crease because I do want this to be a very deep smoky look and throughout this look I continue to go back to my original crease brush and just blend everything out I don't even need additional product now with this super deep brown shimmer Again, not being shy with this, really packing it on. Then I took the shade next to it, which is a very reddish deep brown, and I put that on the inner part of my lid. That way there is a little bit of a contrast there, and it just makes the look a little bit more dynamic, but still keeping it nice and sultry and smoky. And I took just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, the smallest amount of a lighter shimmer to highlight the inner corner that way we can still brighten up and open up the eyes a little bit and i absolutely love this look i thought it was going to be way too dark and way too overwhelming for me because that's not my typical style but i absolutely love this i think this is my favorite of all the looks i've done with all these palettes so far and chocolate brown isn't even my favorite of the palette so that's really really saying something. I had so much fun playing with these palettes. Like I said in my review, I've been very impressed with the performance across the board with these Brown Obsessions palettes. I had a lot of fun shaking up my makeup routines and just trying a little bit different techniques and color placements that I don't typically wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I definitely encourage you to do the same because you never know, you may stumble upon something that you really, really love. I mean, honestly, I may start wearing super dark, smoky, vampy eyeshadow sometimes. Yes, even in the spring and summer, why not? I would love to know what you think about these palettes, which eye look was your favorite? Are you gonna be testing any of these out? Let me know all your thoughts on these palettes down in the comments below. 
As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Something. I'm gonna do something. Probably. Today I want to share... Th I... Man, this is either gonna be amazing or it's gonna screw up my entire look. But the only way to find out is just try it. You know, we're just out here playing around, just trying some things out. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It washes off. It's just supposed to be fun, you know? Uh... Well... Hmm... Eh... Whoa, I look like a badass, fierce warrior woman. I mean, maybe this isn't your, like, day-to-day -day, go to the grocery store look. But I say, you know, with everybody wearing masks, you can really just go wild with the eye makeup. Why not? Why not? I mean, I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like it. The good news is if you hate this look, then you don't have to wear it. Mm. <laughs> I like it. You know, you just gotta like switch it up. You gotta do something different. You just gotta do head movements like this when you switch it up. Okay. I, I know. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Sorry. Smokey eye? <laughs> Who is she? No one knows. No one knows. I'm gonna calm down, sorry. Or will I? I kind of painted my nails to go with this palette. What do you think? Hmm? Yeah? Okay. Commitment to matching nails. Still going strong. This is so out of my comfort zone, but I kind of love it. She's happy. I'm gonna go for another dark color. Typically I would go for like a bright, bright contrast on the inner part, but <laughs> not today. I need some more caffeine. What time is it? Oh, it's almost three, that's why that midday slump, you know what I'm saying? Look, just <sighs> getting distracted by my casually sweaty cheeks. You gotta focus, focus. Okay. You re I, I, uh. <laughs> Sometimes I ask for opinions on things and then I'm like, wait, I don't actually want to know that. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> Edit that part out. The internet, it's a weird place. I mean, you probably know that. I think it's weird for everyone. I don't think you have to be a creator to know that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I, you already know what I'm gonna say. I love your face so much. And thank you for bringing that face here to this channel and hanging out with me. I'm glad, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you're here. And I will, I'll see you in the next one real soon. Okay, thanks for hanging out. Okay, I love your face, bye.